Hello there, it's only me, it's Howard. Um, just want to do another short video on another video, a DVD video that I uh, picked up. Uh, this one is The Thing. It's a box set, uh, a two movie box set, and it's basically the 1982 edition of The Thing and the most up to date one of the, the re not the remake, but it's the movie before the John Carpenter one. I can't think of what the word's called, but we'll just call it the previous movie to the, uh, the John Carpenter one. Anyway, here we go. Okay, the first one is the, uh, the John Carpenter one. It's not by all means the original one. The original one was a black and white one done, I think, in the 50s or the 60s. Late 50s, I think, 60s, something like that. So this was a remake. And as I say, when I was a younger lad, I saw this for the first time. Couldn't believe it. It was bloody brilliant, you know, the effects and everything. And I thought this was an original movie until years later, until I saw the black and white version of the movie. Uh, you know. But I uh, love this movie. Now, let's see what we've got. Uh, okay. We've got again. It's just a uh, just a basic mo uh, basic disc with uh, uh, some sheets of uh, text and whatnot about the movie and uh, special features and whatnot on there. That's up on the back. And again on the back, you've got tons of tons of uh, commentary uh, about the movie. Obviously, Kurt Russell and uh, and. Um, John Carpenter and all that, they're all talking about the movie, which is really interesting if you, you hear about it, it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, there's loads of deleted scenes, this, that and the other, so that's a really good movie, that one. As I say, that was, I, I love that movie. Now, and also, you've got the previous movie, or the updated movie. Um, basically this one has got a lot on the back, it's just a, a few deleted scenes, so it hasn't got a lot on there. Uh, and it's a basic disc, no inlay, nothing, just a basic disc. Um, and yeah, it just basically says bonus feature, deleted extended scenes, uh, and that's basically it really, old oh, feature commentary, and that's it. That's all the features there is on that one. Uh, and I'd say that's a pretty good movie. Now this particular movie is well, centres on the um, the Norwegian side of the team. Uh, if you remember in the original, uh, well not the original, but the John Carpenter one, they had the American uh, and they were talking about the Norwegian team as well in the, you know in the Arctic. So uh, so yeah, this this film centres on the the Norwegian team. Brilliant, I, lo I loved it. Again, it was good. Effects they were good. Um, but I do really prefer, although it's 1982, I really prefer the effects of the 1982 one to the, uh, to the effects of the, the newest one. I don't know, I mean, you know, the effects are all up to date and everything on this one, but, but just somehow it just didn't, for me, I just love the old 82 version. You know, and, and I mean, the actors were, uh, you know, acting in with, with something. You know, back then, I you know, I would imagine, you know, they had models and this, that and the other there and they were, you know, but this one obviously probably done with blue screen and uh, and they're probably acting to nothing or a little ball that they have to get their eye on. Um, but they're acting against nothing. And you can tell in some of the scenes, some of the actors, the way they, you know, the way they are uh, with the effects and everything, you can see some of their eye lines are out and uh, and uh, the hands and all that and holding them on. That's, that's not. You know, not a brilliant one. Whereas the 1982 version, because they didn't have all this uh, technology back then, they had to rely on models and this, that, and the other. And obviously, you had physically a, a model in front of you that you could act to. Uh, and I found that more believable. And I just loved those, loved those effects in that one. I mean, this is okay. Don't get me wrong. This is okay. The effects are, you know, top notch again. But it just didn't have the same effect on me as the 1982 one did. You know. And I mean, you know, it's, that's pretty good. And I, uh, I mean, I love the movie. It's through a, it was really good. And there's a lot of nods, obviously, to the uh, the Carpenter movie in this one. You know, certain video angles and you know certain things in there that you you think, oh, hang on, they did that in the uh, the '82 version. Yeah, and I, I loved at the end that they included the dog. You know, the, the dog that ran out and then, then you got the two Norwegian guys going after it. And then obviously that leads into the, to, to the 1982 edition. So yeah, that was good. 
But, uh, you know, not bad at all. Uh, picked these up, as I say, when I went to London, and uh, couldn't resist a bargain. It was five ninety nine for uh, you know the the box set of two, so that was pretty good. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know my feelings on it. Um, Eighty two, brilliant movie. This one, you know, although it's an up to date one on the Norwegian side, uh, it was all right. It was okay. Um, didn't care for much of the effects though. Really preferred the eighty two one. But anyway, it's a good movie to watch. So you know. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, that's uh, that's my uh, take on it, and I'll see you soon.